Well, it's about quarter to five in the morning and a uh, new experience for me. Jed's here from uh, Lord Jungle Fishing Lake, Thailand. Hey, like and subscribe. Right. Um, Good morning, everybody. Uh, yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <It's all right>. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's just a uh, new experience for me. We've got the lure rods out and Jez is putting on there a little wire trace. Nice. And then uh, we've got, got a frog on. Got a frog it. on. Um, he's got some uh, 40 or 50 pound weave ass spray there. I just wish you ran a reel somewhere to the one that uses. And uh, we're off to Bang Pra Reservoir. New experience for me. Never done anything like it before. Fishing for. for uh, well, mate. Hey? It's a new one for me, guys. New, yeah, well. new one for Jess as well, yeah. Which, is, which I'm looking forward to, actually. Yeah. It's going to be uh, cracking. I'm going to use one of my mm. favourite frogs. Look at that. It's you see, it's been uh, bitten before. Yeah, he's had some action, hasn't he? Yeah. It's a nice one. Box full of stuff there, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus, look at the lures. Have a nose, mate, have a nose. Yeah, so all sorts in there. That's uh, lots of plugs there, diving plugs, surface plugs, some spinners types that, uh, with the Muppets, all sorts. That, uh, we're, we're not really sure what's it. Well, we definitely know there's a giant snakehead in there, there'll be a common snakehead in there. There'll probably be featherback and hempala bar with a bit of luck. Um, it's about 40 odd minutes. Get on Google Maps, find a boatman, and uh, get out on the water, and we'll be out there pretty much for a long spell. Come back, have a bit of grub, and then have the have the afternoon and evening. I think first light, last light, are probably the best times. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We were out last night, Gary Getty Getty. Uh, he was a DJ and top, he's a top DJ. That's a place called uh, was it Sunners or Stinners or Sinners. And uh, Martin Cox from uh, Cornerstone Real Estate, he was on the Wheels of Steel as well. Uh, but we, were, we were out with Lever Force Butler, uh, ended up in a place called High Roller, a fantastic place, uh, on uh, Soy Pothole or Soy Chai Poom, and, um, until midnight. And uh, No, no, it was 11 o'clock, lights came on, so we had a bit of a chance having the gap at sort of half past four for this. So yeah, the eyes are as, as red as the hat, but uh, we're ready. So to have a go, we'll, we'll uh, really see you at the lake. Yeah, That's what saying. Google Maps. Well, we've just done 45 minutes following Google Maps along the uh, frontage road. This might be the, uh, might be the uh, uh, and we've just turned up at what looks like a fucking, I mean, a, a beach. It's mental. The wind's blowing. There's like waves on it. There's stalls here doing food. Thai food, presumably, obviously, and like huts for sitting. It's fucking absolutely howling. I if I signed up for this. Let me see the effect of the wind on my face. But um, there is actually white horses. I'm gonna get seasick. On a lake. Jeepers. It's absolutely blowing a hoolie. That dead tree probably resembles my mental state after four hours sleep, maybe even less. Holy shit. Well, Jez has found a boatman. There's the, uh, there's the boats there. Quite some. Um, Quite basics, fiberglass structures. Uh, not an awful lot of cover. Quite like that. The wind's just eased off. I wonder if it'll, it'll. Hopefully, it'll drop yeah. off. It's a big, it's a big area. Yeah. yeah. It is a big area, isn't it? It's a big resi. We got like a pier construction down here to our left. Dead trees everywhere. Another pier down there. Mountains and waves on a lake that yeah this is this is mental isn't it so it feels feels like a beach doesn't it yeah that's what it is isn't it yeah yeah it's nice man bang pra reservoir beautiful sunrise here we're just waiting for the uh wind to calm down at the moment it's still quite blustery and the boatmen seem reluctant to go out um chap over there is he fishing yeah, he's fishing. So it is. Must be a, oh yeah, the reservoir. Yeah, he's fishing. Um, 
Uh, yeah, it's uh, probably about half six. Uh, so the sun's up, so we missed first light, but with it being windy and quite daunting, frankly, uh, without doing a lot of wild fishing myself, as uh, Tim and Tim at Palm Tree and Tim Cooks Hill remind me, um, this is a this is a different animal altogether. This is interesting. Love to actually catch a fish. I can see me quite easily blanking, being so new and such a novice. But uh, we'll see. Cormorant there. Bastards. Mm. But, yeah, see how it goes. See when he's uh, there's the boatman here. See when they're ready to go. They must be worried about the wind. So am I. Just pissing about here, getting used to uh, working this lure. It's, uh, this one, uh, Jess said, is an absolute belter. Um, Oz from Bangkok Hooker, I think, uh, gave him this one. Basically, uh, a little spinner on the front. And a uh, plug-looking sort of attachment behind it. The wire going right through it, hopefully nice and strong. Girt, sharp hook, nice and sharp. But uh, you basically wind it like fury, and it comes along the top, spinning, probably, I don't know, like a frog, pretty sure, but uh, whacking out there, sort of wind behind, and uh, winding quite fast, as you can see. Keeping it on the surface, and it's going along the top. I'll probably do that a thousand times a day, and I'll see a fish. But it's, uh, it's all good fun. Corn cool right there, look. Shall I be shotgun? What is unusual about this lure is that even though it's just a spinner on the front with a couple of bent veins, there's no actual vein or popping or sort of mechanism to keep it on the surface. And yet when you wind it fast, it wants to come up. Just thought about that, it's very strange. It doesn't float, it's a sinking lure. And yet, when you wind it fast enough, it wants to come up. Must be the shape of the, uh, the spinner itself, pushing it up in the water. Yeah. Weird, weird science. There's movement, the boatman's going. Yeah. Jez is getting his gloves on. That's it. It's action stations. Feeling like a professional. <laughs> Glad you feel like one. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, man. That is it. Go on, put the hat on for the full effect. Far, farmer Jez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> right, let's have a go. Brilliant. There we go. Where'd it go? Um, <laughs> Do you like up? You like up? Hey? Lad, lad. Kun John. Dog bar, kun lad. Me lure, 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 any lure, 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 hmm, yeah, which is boat in Thai, and uh, the wind's dropped enough, and we're just leaving port. Uh, we are uh, set, setting sail towards the uh, the rising sun, and uh, Jez is in front of us there, he's got the main boatman. Um, I'm sure they're much of a muchness, and um. Yeah, this looks interesting. We got some uh, got some features here, so uh, let's get filming, fishing. That's it. Come on. Thought we were away then. We uh, it wasn't a big bang, but uh, it got took. Well, it felt like it did, and it was a bit of old uh, old braid in the water, and uh, well, thought we were away. It does look nice, doesn't it? Beautiful sort of features here, like lots of snags in the water, hyacinths, fishy. Chaps told me to work the lure a bit faster. So that's what I'm doing. Lovely looking little spot here. 
in here. <laughs> Snakehead heaven. Start with so much enthusiasm. Well, certainly for the first 50 casts. Then your arm starts hurting. And your ankle. And your bum. I wish I brought a... Uh, Bit of a uh, bit of a soft vibe for me ass, because uh, yeah, it's gonna be a long day. A boatman's watching me randomly cast around and probably work the lure in a completely ineffective way, thinking, "What a ginger wanker!" Or, well, he wouldn't be thinking that because he'd be thinking it in time, which is probably. Chat while pomsy dang or something like that. But what a what an obed. But uh, at least I can't read his thoughts. And we continue. Platform back there behind us, and the uh, boatman was just telling me that uh, they fish for tilapia and rohu, and they've got rohu in here over twenty pound. I said. Uh, 10 kilo and he was like yep yeah, yep yeah, more than that so that's interesting for future ref all right just had a take from quite a small fish a couple of decent casts for a change and there's a lovely little gully there in the hyacinths and he took it very quickly after it hit the surface might have been a a uh, common snakehead, it might have been a little giant snakehead, or it might have been something completely, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna keep checking it. Eh? And a foul looked a bloody, the other barb, I don't know. It was a take, and it was quite exciting. Lovely little spot in there. I don't think he's going to be silly enough to have two goes at it. But something happened, which is encouraging. Some vivers up here on a, in a boat up ahead. What he's up to? Lovely here, this little galley to cast down. I hope I'm doing this right. All sorts of goes through your mind when you're well, I did have a take, I did have a take. I'm sure it was a take, so. Better take some solace from that. But it can be a long, drawn out affair, like the Renault McGann overtaking a National Express coach on a very, very long incline. That's uh, not my words. We're at the Top Gear magazine. Beautiful little channel here, and we're going up through. Reeds either side. Oh, you bastard! Oh, shit! Ah, oh, wanker! He had two goes at it. It looked right, and it was right. No, no. Mm. Eh? 
เดี๋ยวตัวแรกกัดหน่อยนี่เดียวถ้าไปหน่อยจะกัดได้เนี่ย Yeah I don't know I wish I know what you're saying Mike help Jay cut hot Go on, have another go. You, you bastard. Oh, no. Believe that. Well, gives me hope. Gives me hope. That's basically two fish, three takes now. He knows we're after him now. Got to be more than one of them in here. Looks lovely. That's where he'd fancy a pike, innit? Dave, Mr. Dave Horton, if you're watching, let's get your juices flowing. Proper wild vibes. Get my juices flowing anyway. Ooh. Fishing wise. Probably not striking right. Well, I don't know. Because I don't know. God, it looks lovely. A bit shadier. Oh, we just had another swirl under the lure. It's amazing, you don't seem to get two chances at them. They have a go and then don't have it. Um, and you cast over them again so they're not as silly as me thinking that they are beautiful looking spots up here look at that it's old uh, dead trees reeds hyacinths grasses just absolute predator heaven ambush territory we might be a tilapia in there. Come on, snakehead. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, no. Oh, it was a lucky one, wasn't it? <laughs> what a it. Feeling fishy again. Started to work the lure a bit faster. I'm wondering if these fish are having time to pull out at the last minute. And sort of three fish, four basically attempts at the lure. Maybe if I was going a bit faster, they wouldn't have time to pull out. It's just a theory, though. There's a fish up there. Yeah. Not sure what he said, but. The language of fishing is universal. Just seen a little rise. In this, uh, this little bay here, a lot of leaves on the, uh, looks like a, an autumn <sighs> pike fishing session, but there's a lot of rubbish. I should have to. The uh, this is old. Get the bar gear now. Well, we've got an area here with a. A lot of um, a lot of uh, 
for sticks and stuff, so I uh, thought we'd um, try one with a, a weed guard on double hooks. Oh, hello. Something just happened there. That's all right, anyway. Getting more and more brave. Something was going on in here. Probably a snakehead. Boatman's probably laughing at me. A bit of open, never see what it looks like. Oh, you bastard! Right at the area where there's a lot of uh, trees and stuff to cast through, and we've gone back to the original Bangkok hooker lure because I've had the three fish have a go at this one so. Got to stick with this one, really. Four takes on three different fish. Lovely little spot looking out for here, isn't it? Gallified. It's got a little bit of wind pick up and the sun's burning through. Lovely look down through this little alleyway of sort of dead vegetation to the hill in the in the distance. Um, with the sun coming out, burning through the thick haze, never, never great, I don't think, for this sort of fishing, especially with first light and last light being very good. Um, it's amazing how much of the the day in Thailand that uh, you can actually be fishing with a lot less of a chance. That's the only problem with Thailand. You seem to get long periods of the day, whether you're lure fishing, carp fishing, or any fishing really, and uh, you're fishing with a lot less chance than you are in that little spell between three o'clock and sunset or even for the carp an hour into dark some waters through the night but yeah there's that long spell between probably I don't know nine o'clock ten o'clock in the morning until three o'clock in the afternoon that can be a real struggle and uh, I might have missed my chances here today but that's okay just have to have had a chance actually had three different fish follow or have a go, swirl underneath it. One of them had two goes, so effectively four takes from three fish so far. Um, it's probably more than I expected. Um, being the uh, first go at it, ah, pleased in a way, but uh, would have been nice to have, have hooked one and had a bit of a tussle. But we'll... Uh, We'll keep going, keep getting the water down me, even though the sun's come out, it's not blazing, so that's, uh, that's got a bit of a chance. Well, we've had our little expedition into a, a little offshoot of the uh, reservoir, and we're just coming back out into the main body of the lake now. It feels very um, open and stark compared to those little little vegetation gullies we were coming down through, but... Uh, we might be making our way back to where we started to have a bit of lunch. I haven't got a clue what the time is. So uh, that might be the crack. This looks nice down through here though. If 
I get me casting right. This this lure flies slightly to the right, so you got to aim left. I've got a little bit of little bit of fade on it. Not so much slice. It's definitely fade. Quite nice of you drifting it in on the uh, a little left to right wind and holds up on a right to left. A uh, bit of golfing um, history comes in handy, but. I was at, oh no, shit. Not like that though. That was a complete slice. Did have a hole in one on Royal Lakeside though. Twelfth hole. We were playing as third. I was with Martin Cox and Malcolm Molinox. 148 yard. Eight iron. Into the par three. I was down looking at the tee when it went in the hole. Missed it. Still went in the hole though. Well, right, coming up to about 11 o'clock in the morning. Feels like two o'clock, because we were up at four, half past four this morning. In the main body of the lake, I think we're just wasting time until, uh, until uh, lunch, because the sun's quite high. We haven't had a touch fish in the main body of the lake on the way out or on the way back. Uh, the boatman must be just sort of cruising around thinking yeah nearly lunch but uh, we keep casting casting's alright actually doing alright it's good fun getting it into every little nook and cranny uh, getting as close to the, uh, the highest sense as possible and then getting it to the surface um, not without hope but um, you know, devoid Looking forward to lunch actually. Two bananas and a and a M and M chocolate thing this morning. Jez kindly got all the the food and drinks this morning. Bits and pieces, a few bottles of water. Hazy sunshine, which helps. Not absolutely roasting. Um, I'm gonna guess the temperature. Seen a few fish rising. Something came up next to the boat just now and. And the guide went, Whoa. Oh, well, could have been a swai. No. Took me, put me law over it a few times. And as ICW would say, not a sniff. There we go, Jez has come alongside. I think we're on our way back for lunch. Lovely bit of open water here. Hazy day. Oh, chap's found another net there. So the reservoir is full of nets. Not a good sign. More nets ahead here. You can probably see the, the polystyrene boys. Um, and there's quite a lot. You might have to travel away from where we parked the car to find somewhere a little bit less um, hammered. A bit like me. Here we go, just ch chatting to the guys, asking them what we're having for lunch. We're having a Som Sam, surprising. Yeah, we're coming into land. This is where we set off this morning. Much windier this morning. Past a few boats, a few anglers. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we are all ready for a bit of lunch. Uh, hard mornings fishing. Uh, casting that lure takes it out of you. It's a bit like trotting a stick float down the and River Severn, it's 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 all action all the time. It's totally different. You're out on the boat, red hot, <clears throat> and I think tonight, by the time you finish, you'll be you'll be shattered. So uh, and probably ready for a chang. Lunchtime. Here's Jez and our spot for lunch. And uh, one of our guides there. Just had an entertaining. Uh, Exchange with the uh, the young lad uh, ordering our food as always. Cheeky little bugger. Yeah. There he is there. Good character. Uh, this is a classic Thai place. Okay, video diving. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, my my kid man. <laughs> there he is. The video. Here we go. There we go. Any guys have. 
Lovely. Cup. <laughs> there you go. So the magic happens. Oh, look at that. Nam Dok Moon. Oh, lovely. King. Tamahan King Ma. And uh, she's uh, very skilled at cooking. There he is. Little bugger. There he is. Yeah. 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 Anyway, but. Uh, it was very much like a, a beach setting here. It was like a very open body of water and it feels like you're, you're by the sea, which is quite uh, quite strange. But um, it's, it's nice, it's a different feeling, totally different feeling to the fishing parks and uh, something that we've got to get into. It's the next frontier, it's uh, the challenge that we've been looking for really. Um, it's got to make sure we find the right water with the, the fish in it that that you know, we want to catch because it's easy to fish the wrong places without a chance so that's the next step just getting the right information really yeah, looking forward to lunch we've got a nan dok mu which is like a spicy pork salad jez has gone for a som tam which is a classic uh, uh, sort of uh, spicy salad and we got a kapow as well which uh, which is my favorite a couple of eggs a couple of rices and we'll be ready for the second half that's a happy face. Hey, it's a food. happy face. <laughs> so I'm having Somtam Thai, yeah. Mai Sai Gung, yeah. which is uh, no shrimp. Yeah. I'm having rice, which is Khao Sawai in Thai. And yeah. I'm having a Kai Dao, which is a, a fried, fried egg. egg. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. Yeah. And, a, and some water. Yeah. Ooh, we're it's ready, getting, aren't we? It's getting hot, so I've got to get, keep the fluids up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't overindulge last night, did we? <laughs> <laughs> well, we I had didn't. a couple of beers. Yeah, we had a couple so of beers. Nice. No, nah, nothing, nothing silly, was it? Uh -huh. no. There's me Nam Dog. There's me Kapow. No. I'm ready. And soon we were up at four o'clock this morning. Yeah. You know, we're doing alright. Yeah, we're doing mm. good, mate. Yeah. You know? yeah. Get some scran and then we'll be good to roll. Catch yeah. this afternoon. Let's hope the sort of the evening. I wonder if we go the other way that, that now, or we'll go back over where we've been. No, that'll be interesting. We'll there ain't a lot that way, is there? No, there's a, there's a damn wall in that. So we'll That's see. true, yeah. yeah. We'll find out mm. after the break. Like and subscribe, please. Now we're back out on the, uh, on the water. Going over the same bit of ground we went over this morning. Just. Uh, Change the lure now. I'm onto a onto a muppet little fella. Spins on the top and then um, book goes underneath it like that. Uh, quite effective for the pike in the UK. Um, and uh, I just uh, ran the lure over here. I had my first take this morning from quite a small fish, but nothing happened. What a surprise! That's uh, sun's still quite high in the sky. Uh, I'm not expecting much for a little while. Probably got a small window of opportunity in the last three quarters of an hour, I reckon. What well, time is now? It's about half three, so probably between half five and, and half six sort of time. Until then. We'll keep casting. Standing up now. My ass is killing me. Bring a pillow. Or even bring a little, uh, a little carp chair maybe that will sit between the wood. Because it's rock hard. Come on, snakehead. We've got something. It's a hemp parlor barb. Yes! Get in! Get in! Yes! Look at oh shit! Hey! Hey! Okay now. Well, I'll be fucked. Mental. Absolutely nuts. Get that hook out. Look at that absolute beauty. Turn him around. There we go. My first proper wild fish. A beautiful black on it. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. 
Oh, fuck. Ba ka ka sok. Ka sok. Ba ka to. Ka sok. Well, I'm chuffed to bits with that. Absolutely thrilled to bits. Impala barb took it about, I don't know, 15 foot from the boat. Uh, obviously not a fantastic fight. Fish about 12 ounces on uh, fish pound braid. And I grew up Muppet, a couple of Muppets together look doomed. But uh, yeah, first wild fish on a lure. Uh, job done. And uh, yeah, anything else is a bonus. Just had a big swirl. Just about there. Probably the only chance you get like this morning. They either take it. And that's the end of it. Uh, are you scared of a non predatory fish? You don't know, but the ones this morning. Oh! Something happening now. starting to understand the excitement of lure fishing in the wild in Thailand. Gotta whine like shit. It's hard work. Love a little narrow channel down here. Feels fishy. Well, we've just had a take. Pretty sure it's a snakehead. Not a monster, but it's a snakehead. Come on. Yes! Get in! Get in there! Fucking hell! <laughs> Whoa! Well, that has floored me. Well, I'll be my first giant snakehead in the wild. I'm shaking. Whew. Look at that beauty. Get me camera out. Let's have a look at you. Who are you, bugger? She's a beauty. Give her a minute, give her a minute. Look at that. What a stonker, fish of a boat. I don't know, six pound. Maybe not even now, I don't care. Look at that. Shit. I tell you what, I'll pop him in there. Pop him in the net. Just a bed now. I'll have a photo. Yeah. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous colours. Gonna get a little photo. So a bit curled up. Okay. Iglo, 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 my fella. Lovely. Boy. Boy me. Oh no, my Elkin, yeah. Mwah. Get in. There she goes. Yes. Whew. Nice one, thank you. Yeah. Get in. But the boatman has just kindly given me his last cigarette because I'm shaking that much. Just caught me first wild snakehead and a hempala barb, as you've seen before. And I've just had a snakehead, probably. Song Song Lo Kun Sam Lo Sam Lo, he's going three kilo. I'd probably go with him. But it was somewhere between five and six pounds, I reckon. Hamlet. The mild snakehead. 
Well, I'm starting to understand this buzz. Muppet. Just had a swirl underneath the underneath the, the lure. <coughs> And they either take it or that's it. Well, that's always the case, but it has been today. Well, my arms are hanging off now. Not the time is. But uh, it was lovely, every cast <clears throat> in this sort of half light feels like it's, uh, it's got a chance. Especially when you've had a couple. <clears throat> Hopefully Jez has had a, some fish as well. That'd be lovely. I reckon he will have. But yeah, the old fingers are hurting. Wouldn't want to do this for days on end, to be honest with you. Pretty hard work, you wind as hard as you can, as fast as you can, every cast. Oh day. Just fun now. This is one of the problems here, and uh seems to be a lot of them. Nets everywhere. So that's probably gonna make the carp species fishing a little bit tricky. And you do hook them on a regular basis with the lures. Mm. The uh, bloke who owns the net will be chuffed with that. Just had a deja vu. Look at that. That lure coming back through the, the sunlight there. Cool, go on and have it now. Beautiful evening. I'm sure of the time, but I guess four to six. Phone's off. Nearly out of battery. Fingers are killing me. Arms are falling off. A cracking day. I'm quite happy to boatman to uh, say sit down, RV. Let's go on back because. Uh, I am quite happy to call it a day. Had a lovely day, Jim. I'll just take the money now and uh, meet Dan, Zach, and the boys. Have a cow and I have a few changs. Lovely stuff. And it's been a cracking day. Unbelievable, really. You just got to keep casting. Simple as that. I'm fortunate to get the, uh, the two takes that I did. I think uh, if the wind was a bit less this morning, we might have had a couple more. Um, a bit unlucky there that we missed the the dawn, really. Um, but we are pretty much making our way back over open water now. I'm, I'm casting the lure without a lot of hope. There might be a lot of nets around as well. So I think the, uh, the boatman's sort of gradually thinking, yeah, let's, uh, let's sneak back, shall we? I'm thinking, yeah, that's uh, an unwritten rule. Uh, it's been superb. I can see Mr. Harvey just over there. There's another boatman over there. But uh, it's very, very picturesque around here. Sometimes you don't even realize that uh, we had some 
hidden gems in your town, you know. And catching uh, snakehead and gossoup. It's like a jungle perch, which is very, very pretty. And this is my boatman, Mr. Watt, Mr. P. Watt. There's, and he's excellent. And uh, that's uh, 1,200 baht uh, for the day. And then I'll give him a little tip as well because he's been excellent. He's taken me everywhere. And uh, we've seen um, a, a lot of fry balls, which is, which is good this time of the year. And the water's cold as well. But um, no, nah, very enjoyable time. I'm glad I came down and saw John as well and met, uh, met some lads as well. So some of his friends, which is nice. And it's good to meet Gary as well, Gary Gary. And, um, and yeah, and then uh, I guess probably tonight, I'll probably have a few beers with John. Not too many, because I'm flying in the morning back to Loy, back to Loy Airport, and then my wife will come and pick me up. So it's nice, and I'll show you around. Some mountains over here. It's like a long jetty here. And again, loads of mountains. Very, very picturesque. And uh, the weather's not too hot as well, which is great. And yeah, as uh, Mr. Harvey says, and Dan, tight line vibes. Uh, well, there we are. Me and Jez just finished the, the day uh, snakehead fishing. Uh, the, the first of, of my ever, uh, so I'm just babbling now, uh, yeah, first time I've ever done it and uh, absolutely fantastic experience. Boatman's been brilliant, nice and quiet, just took me around. Absolutely. Jess has had a cracking Bang. day. Yeah, yeah. A bit superb. Um, I've, got, I've got to check the suntan out. Cool, Jesus. <laughs> Flip-flop, you don't stop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, cracking, yeah. man. We just played the cracking. boss man here. The, the boss, boss man. man. YouTube, YouTube, over at Angler, like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it was basically 1,200 baht per head for the boat and the boatman for the day. Chapter to an extra under bark because uh, I had a couple of fish, I doubt. Um, Jez tipped his yeah, for the same reason. Of course you did. No, I don't remember. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Out yeah. tight. You didn't tell me. I did. I told you over did, there. Oh, you did you? Yeah. I don't listen. I'll, right, I'll give them a bit more. Yeah, I'll yeah. go over and give them a bit more. But no, they're brilliant, really. For yeah. uh, basically sort of 26, 27 quid, you get a bloke and a boat for the day and their knowledge. And um, yeah, come and give it a crack. Yeah, Bang for our reservoir in your party. Not only that, food is awesome here Food's as well. Great. Food's very, very yeah, nice. It's lovely, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. And cheap as well. Yeah. And very cheap. Yeah. yeah. No, excellent, brilliant. excellent day. Really, really good day. Yeah, yeah brilliant. Lloyd Jungle and Fishy Lake. Rock on. Like and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> not only that, as we say. Tight live vibes. vibes. Yeah. <laughs>